Avenger takes me back to Walmart to find some new snacks and action figures. I'm Sasha Boss and happy Halloween on this rainy Thursday. Uh, rainy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm back at Walmart to see some Halloween goodness and maybe try on some costumes and get some snacks. Well, join me, I'm shall you? In the Halloween section. We're gonna have some fun. Um, yeah, the Walmart parking lot can be a little bit tricky, but be careful, you don't get honked at. Okay guys, so we're actually here at the beautiful Halloween section with all kinds of little children's costumes over here with ninjas and different things. And we'll even there's a, a couple's costume, which is pretty interesting. I don't understand why um, this is a thing, but it is interesting. Got some uh, more suits and all kinds of little things out here, which is pretty unique. It's pretty uh, wa watered down comparatively to Here's more of the Halloween costumes as we speak. There's Woody, there's Spider-Man, there's every single little candy over here. Yeah, there's a lot. It's also happy Halloween to everybody out here. It looks amazing. Absolutely. Oh, TikTok. Here is the onesies um, that they actually have here. I have to showcase onesies, but they're pretty cool. There's a Grogu one, um, which is pretty cool. It looks super soft. And there's a sloth one as well. Interesting. And there's a Lilo and Stitch and Winnie the Pooh. All very, very fast. Merry Christmas to all. It's also got some Rudolph and Friends and the Grinch uh, ones here as well, which is pretty funny. I don't know why these things exist, but these are awesome. You may need to get this, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Christmas mood uh, ugly sweater with a real cowbell. <laughs> get it? <laughs> uh, pun intended. Also, there's ghost face, all kinds of horror shirts. I gotta check the horror section out first because I love horror. Um, with a nice ghost face shirt, absolutely stunning. Uh, there is all kinds of different shirts right there. It's all including Nightmare on Elm Street and a Snoop Dogg shirt, which is pretty cool. And they also have some lounge pants and a Barbie shirt back here, um, which is pretty funny as well. There's a Walmart exclusive Barbie shirt for eight bucks. If you're looking for the Barbie shirt, let me know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not here for that. But there's also this beautiful Nightmare on Elm Street. And that Dolly Parkinson, which is interesting. Dolly Parkinson, Rick and Morty, One Piece, Spy the Family, Star Wars, Grogu. And then this awesome, awesome Shrek shirt. Absolutely killer. I love Shrek. Like, literally, it's Shrek. You cannot go wrong with you Shrek. Know what all time is for. It's actually time for the action figures and see some Christmas stuff. It's all holidays everywhere today at Walmart. I just can't believe it. Let's go see the NECA section. We're almost there. Looks like we have the same stuff, but let me show you what we have. The same stuff right here. We have the NBA stuff. We have the April O'Neil NECA figure right here. Even got my boy Slash, easily one of my favorite, probably my favorite guitarist, uh, Slash right here. Looking really cool. Never seen the Slash action figure for seven bucks. That looks pretty cool. I don't collect through by 75 inch, but if I did, that might be a tempting pickup. We're not here for that. We're here for some actual uh, turtles and things. Let's go see if they have them. Same zombie Funko Pops. Nothing, nothing I'm craving today so far. But we are underway. Also, guys, Caramel Cool Brew M&Ms are here. I saw a big clearance sign that we will be going to eventually. But look at all kinds of Funko Pops right here, including this beautiful ET three pack of every single et that i love i love this three pack oh it's so precious and we also got ryan howard from the office walmart exclusive perfect figure right here and we got the office space peter the peter gilbert from office space one of my absolute favorite movies and nothing too much got the analyst from the matrix jordan peely one of my favorite directors for horror and nothing much you all came in here for ladies and gentlemen this is a clearance blowout here at walmart just look at the pegs including a han solo for 24 dollars there's 24 dollars on clearance that's not on sale what are you talking about walmart that is not on sale i already have that figure amazing figure 25 bucks still a clearance deal that's one of the worst clearance black series finds i found all day yeah come on walmart seriously 25 dollars for this used to be 32 25 like seriously, 24, I, I don't understand that. Like I do not understand that price. Come on, Hasbro. <laughs> if it's seven, eh. Pushing Rescue, the Razor Quest, Slave One, um, more Slave Ones. 
nothing I'm too like hunting for, but I get this beautiful Lando Calrissian that I already own. Oh, and even got the Leia um, as well on clearance for $24, which I don't understand why that's $27, but it is a really cool figure and more hot solos as well. Yeah, the only one I'm missing is the Android Leia, but I already have a copy that I'm using with my Wicked at home. So. Yeah, it is toys. We actually found the Funko booth and we got some uh, Funko Pops right here from Queen's Gambit and Airways and got a big Tyrannosaurus uh, T-Rex which is looking pretty cool as well. Even got some gargoyles down here which is pretty stinking awesome. Uh, this is the one I've been actually eyeballing actually for the longest time. Um, this one right here. I don't know what it is. Broadway. This is Broadway. Um, the one I've been hunting down for, but it looks pretty cool. I don't collect a lot of gargoyles. I wasn't really, a, I'm not really into the show itself. And there's not really any reason for me to pick it up, but it's cool. Um, we got some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. Very cool two packs, a Splinter and Shredder. A Horror Box and this beautiful Predator. I'm not sure I can get out. I don't know, it's a Predator. Uh, bottom figure right here as well. And Spawn and Happy Halloween everybody who loves Halloween. There's my favorite slasher. Word to the Black Series section. Well, Marvel Legends as well. So let's go see some actual Black Series figures. I don't think there's anything new on the pegs, but who knows? Not buying today. Not buying because we're saving that cash for Comic-Con. Yep. <laughs> also, there's... Well, uh, I gotta show you this. I can't... And Call of Duty Warzone mini fridges for 30 bucks. 30 bucks for a mini fridge? That is a stunning deal, guys. I always wanted a mini fridge, but for 30 bucks? Is that a really good deal or what? If it was a Star Wars one, I might consider it, or a Last of Us, I might consider it, but purely it's the Lego sets cute. and some of those sets I've been eyeballing right here. Like this store, like this Boba Fett I've been uh, searching for for a very long time. Well, I've been seeing it everywhere. I'm not searching for a long time, but I've been wanting it. And we got the TIE Bomber. Uh, we got that one set right down there for the really good Pokaton. Really cool to see that in person. And then uh, Mando's new uh, ship, which is pretty neat. More Ninjago for 160. Nothing I'm hunting. Yeah, nothing. Some cool I'm Lego things, but we're really here for the action figures. Let's go see what we got. Okay. Since I'm not carried away, yeah, let's go look. New Marvel Legends. We want to take a look at. We got the classic Loki for. Uh, I don't think eleven dollars. We got the classic Loki right here. The power, which is really cool. Brown Riley Spider Man. Uh, Miss Marvel from the Marvel's Wave. That looks really nice. I've never seen this figure in person. But this is one of the ones I've been on the fence about getting. I'm going to get her today, but maybe once I see the movie, I don't know. Looking really cool for that, for that look. Uh, not for Loki Wave, from the uh, totally awesome Hulk builder figure, which looks pretty neat. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that figure. Harold Danvers. And then we got Marvel Boy, which is a copy down here we can take a look at. Looking pretty stunning. I think it's using a lot of pins on this figure. Not really thrilled about Marvel Boy. It looks all right. Maybe a cool figure to play with, but I don't know. Ant-Man's. I, I would have got this for seven bucks, but we also got Crossfire and Ant-Man. The only one I really wanted was the Ultron, and I don't see the Ultron here. Sadly, no Ultron, but pretty cool stuff. Probably the coolest thing I've seen in the Marvel Legends section. Of the hey, McFarland Marvel. people. We got some chases of the Selena Kyle. And I got Robin Reigns. Uh, nothing I'm hunting. Nothing I'm really craving over here. And if you've got the same Boba Fett that I have, the better helmet, which I already own. So, oh, they also got Chopper. That is sick. I've been hunting down this Chopper for a while. So I know I'll probably get this at Comic-Con, but not today. But that is so cool. Oh, man. That's a cool figure. Something I've been hunting down for a while. That is really cool. Oh, man. Ah, $25. Do I have it? Ah, I hate that with action figures I've been hunting down for. I've been really wanting the chops. Ah, come on, Chopper. AEW as well with Hangman Adam Page, Orzo, more other wrestlers. I don't watch a ton of that. But we also got some more um, dew drops as well. We got Randy Orton. Uh, we got the boy, uh, Isaiah Kenzie. I don't know who he is, but he looks pretty cool. Roman Reigns. And I was here to see if they had uh, any of the Bray Wyatts left because I really wanted that Bray Wyatt figure because it's the Fiend. I kind of want to keep it sealed. But they have the Alexa Bliss, which I'm not looking for. I'm looking for the Bray Wyatt. Just, I don't know, on retail. I don't want to play the aftermarket prices. But this is pretty cool, though. Seeing Chopper in the wild, absolutely cool to see the Black Series packaging back. Ah, oh, in 2023. That is super cool. 
Wow, I wish I was gonna get Chopper though. That is such a cool figure. Really cool piece. Oh man, maybe eventually I get him. I don't Chopper know. at home. Oh, I really wanted him. He's so cool. Speaking about something that's amazing, ladies and gentlemen, is one of my absolute favorite Lego sets. Probably the favorite, my favorite Lego set that I have at home. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of the Thunder Mountain. Office. Oh, this is one of the greatest TV shows ever to be coming out to the TV screen. I just can't believe they actually have another copy of the Lego Ideas Office, which has been selling out quick. And I also have been eyeballing this set too. I think it's really pretty. Huh. And also seeing the Vendor's Towers. That you guys got this new CMF down here as well, which is pretty cool. I really want a couple of these to open up on the channel. So maybe around the holidays, I might be getting a couple of these to do a video on. Who knows? But they're four, well, like eight bucks a piece. I really wish I could do an unboxing, but they're cool. Kind of want some of the X-Men figures, to be honest with you. But it doesn't mean I'm buying everything I see today, sadly. Like, I can hold off on Chopper, even though I really want to buy him, but. Yeah, but also this is a pretty good deal right here. The AT-AT Walker is uh, actually 112. I, I, I'm kind of shocked on that price. It used to be like 160, 150, but that I don't know. I don't get it. Weird. Also, guys, one of the sets I have been wanting and wanting. This is a 140 dollar UC. Oh, now you see it. The Horse on uh, Republic gunship. This play model right here of the gunship itself. It's just an absolute stunning masterpiece of a Lego set. And absolutely a treasure to have if you're a massive Clone Wars fan. This thing is just stellar. Oh, I love this set. This is a great set to put all the minifigures in. Oh, man. $140. Kind of reasonable. Kind of reasonable, but still very expensive. The boys. Echo. Tech. All of the boys are here. They don't have any other ones besides the new tech. But that looks really cool. I already own tech and Echo. I don't need them. But it's very cool to see these guys in person. I just wanted the tech because of the new goggles and helmet. They have them on the shelf. But I'd like to have the originals because those are the ones that really meant a lot to me. The only one I'm hunting for was a Mega. And they don't have a Mega or Jesse or any of the other ones I've been kind of craving about. But very cool to see the brand new tech. And also this really nice cardboard sleeve that's protecting the figure. These look actually really, really beautiful. And there's this Echo as well. And there's Echo on the back. Looking super cool. I don't really need these figures because I already own them at home, which is cool. Cause I, oh, sorry, I go. The thing was, guys, I was going to um, complete the Bad Batch once I get a Mega, so I'm just waiting for that one. And I already have all the members at home, so I'm not too worried about it. Looking really stellar, though. I just love that tech. Really clean packaging, but I don't need them. I already have them, so there's no point in that really good figure. Also, did anyone ask for Old Spice? <laughs> Look at that. That is I'm looking awesome. for it. It's not here. It's the brand new um, Skittles minis. I couldn't find them. I might check them out in the checkout time. But they also have Dr. Bombay ice cream, which I also saw on TikTok. Well, maybe Instagram. Uh, Dr. Bombay. I don't understand who he is. I'm thinking he's a rapper or a famous song. I don't know. I don't know. We also got the uh, Little Debbie ice creams as well as we're in the ice cream section. I'm just looking for all kinds of little, little treats and things, but even a big pack of Mandalorian waffles. I'm looking for the Stranger Things waffles, and they do. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, inner nerd. Inner nerd. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. 24 buttermilk waffles. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I wish I needed some breakfast items. So I would totally pick this up. So these are like I had peanut butter, bananas. Ah, oh, they could do all kinds of things. These waffles, absolutely amazing. Oh, I'll have to double checking if I need breakfast or not. I don't think I do because I already have it at home. And this was clarifying the question. But uh, we're going to look for the frozen dinners that I've been seeing on TikTok. And let's go see if they actually have Andrew Zimmer, the Gordon Ramsay, and the other one I'm looking for. But I'm not seeing. Ooh, Guy Fieri. Yep, they're here. I'm going to go get one. The uh, chef. The chef section right here of the famous uh, chefs um, right here. And there's also a barbecue one as well, which I'm going to get that as well. Um, there's ribs and pulled pork. I'm going to get the pulled pork one, which is pretty cool. I'm going to get one of these. Ribs and barbecue pulled pork dinner. This looks pretty good. How much calories? Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm going to get one of these. And then I'm going to get... Oh, it's going to be a surprise. Oh, it's going to be really hard. Um... Should I go Andrew Zimmer or should I go Flavor Town? I've been wanting to try a Gordon Ramsay dish, so I'm going to try the uh, hmm. 
I'm gonna try the lemon caper uh, chicken by Gordon Ramsay. I'm gonna try that. Really found that was really interesting as well are the Caesar dressing barbecue ranch from California Pizza Kitchen dressing, which is pretty fancy. Look at that. I absolutely love California Pizza Kitchen and that's really cool they're offering the dressings here. Amazing little find. Also, we're looking for the snack aisle, of course. How good to we? my favorite aisle, the cereal aisle with Halloween Crunch by Captain Crunch, pumpkin spice galore. It is almost Halloween and Christmas. It's awesome too. We've got the uh, Trailacious cereal, which is also one of our family's favorite cereals. Very delicious indeed. Not sure if I'm gonna pick that up today or not. Just looking around for anything yummy, delicious I want to try. And I did get some oatmeal the other day, but I'm also gonna pick up the strawberries and cream because it's pretty good. Yeah, I thought I was stocking up on my oatmeal. Just looking around the store um, just to see some other snacks, but I did find some oatmeal, which I've been wanting to get. So yeah, we're just browsing. We're just browsing for right now. Um, there's no pop tarts I've been wanting. There's a couple pop tarts I've been wanting to try, and I don't see them here yet today. So we're okay with that. There's also some amazing apple sauces as well. Yeah, I'm sticking with this so far. I don't know why. I'm on an oatmeal kind of kick. Got them. Skittle Littles. I'm super excited for Skittle Littles, ladies and gentlemen. So tiny, but very delicious. Bites. Waffle cones. Looking pretty yummy. Don't know anything about this, but this looks pretty good. I don't know what to call it besides yumminess. Huh. Very cool. Don't know if they're safe, though. It looks pretty good. The <laughs> section, guys. Looking really cool as well. And we do have some Jurassic Dino crackers. Don't know if I would eat those or not, but maybe. Who knows? I love Jurassic Park, so I don't know if I want to buy that today. I was looking for some snacks, though. <laughs> Let's go look for some yummy snacks. Also, guys, we do have our classic classic uh christmas decor right here of our favorite um treats right here the uh, white chocolate covered oreos and the fudge covered oreos well fudge covered ritz crackers super yummy i do need to grab a bag of potato chips happy diwali to all who celebrate this holiday they have diwali stuff at walmart so happy diwali to everyone who celebrates diwali like myself so happy festival of lights very cool. Coming up in November, got some celebration candles as well. Chex Mix as well, with the Chex Mix remixes, pizza, and ZZ Taco. Yummy. <laughs> Don't know if I like these or not. And also got the uh, Funfetti Muddy Buddies as well. I don't know. Those are kind of interesting. I did find some popcorn over here, including Be Happy Cotton Candy Popcorn, which is right here, and Maple Bacon Popcorn. Interesting. I don't know. They sound kind of gross, so I don't know. It's also a nice spice. Uh, flavored popcorn. We're just kind of up my alley. So maple bacon popcorn? I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep in the future for it is the garlic and herb butter from Lando Lakes. I got the cinnamon one. Absolutely amazing. Even honey butter. I want that too. But these two are definitely coming home eventually in my butter collection because I love my butter. And when I see the flavored butters, I'm in. I'm all in for butter. This is another <laughs> great find. It's Bounty Berry and Cherry Galaxy. Looking pretty cool. I love Go Great personally. As an adult, it's pretty yummy. Um, the only one I didn't pick up is the strawberry one. I got the raspberry and cherry, but I don't know. But we're definitely doing a video on those eventually. And we also got the Yo Crunch cookie dough, vanilla pudding, and we got Yo Crunch uh, Oreo as well. Some of my favorites as a kid. I don't know how I like that today because I don't like too much yogurt, but they have the individual ones uh, right here if you're looking at the camera. Very cool. Also, where's the Pillsbury? Did I pass it? Very trendy Scooby Doo Halloween mystery assorted donuts. The only one I would eat is the chocolate one with a little bit of the green icing. That's the only one I would care for, the mystery machine one. Other than that, uh, the two are not edible. Kind of gross. Ew. Look at that. I don't know. How do I feel about Scooby Doo donuts? Two birthday. Birthday E. I did birthday find e. my yogurt I wanted to try, so I'm gonna try the raspberry chocolate shavings one. And um, how much agrees to this? Yeah, I'm, this is almost like a snack. So I got one of these, and then I'm also gonna grab the uh, cherry and chocolate because that sounds nice, right? I don't know. These yum. are safe. I found some uh, really nice, yummy cheese snacks. Don't know what cheese I would try, but they're very yummy looking. I don't you know. Me, ladies and gentlemen, we got our Pillsbury Cinnamon Roll 2-pack. This actually is great for the recipe I made uh, a while ago. I sure got it here, to be honest with you. Um, but I made a cinnamon roll casserole, and I used cinnamon rolls from Pillsbury to make the recipe. Really cool. And also, Cinnabon cheese. Probably contains peanuts and tree nuts. Yay, tree nuts. 
<laughs> but let's keep on going. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab a sub and yeah, we're gonna Ooh, the peppermint mocha from Starbucks is back and looks super yummy, guys. I can't wait to get my hands on this during the holidays. And we have the holiday blend and gingerbread as well. I got to try. Okay, y'all. I am back from Walmart and I actually did one little pit stop at my local grocery store to get my family some ground beef. This is a 97.7 uh, ground beef that I picked up um, at our local grocery store. So one pound of ground beef, perfect. I actually picked up a uh, bag of Blaze party size potato chips, uh, looking amazing. So I got a bag of those, absolutely stellar of potato chips. I got a bag of those. Um, and this bag over here, I did get something for my family. Um, this is another item I got for my family. Super hard to find in our area. These are two of the Belvita, uh, two of the Belvita uh, snack packs, uh, looking super good. Um, so I got two of those. So 24 of these in a case. So 12 and 12. Uh, they're also pretty yummy. So I got those. And now for your boys' haul. So those are some extra groceries that I picked up, but now it's actually my turn for my time to shine haul. Yeah. So at Walmart today, I did pick up a couple of groceries. I did pick up a couple of groceries for myself. This is the bag of fun for the boss man. I did pick up a, a, a brand new Gordon Ramsay frozen dinner. I got the Gordon Ramsay uh, lemon pepper and chicken uh, uh, chicken uh, from Gordon Ramsay video coming soon on the channel for the Gordon Ramsay meal. Very excited for that. And then I picked up the uh, a Corky's Rise and Barbecue, almost reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pulled pork dinner, uh, baked beans and apples. Never seen anything like this. Looking super good. So we got that. Then I did pick up, ladies and gentlemen, some Skittle Littles. I got some Skittle Littles, probably the, one of the highlights of that haul of these new Skittles video coming soon. And then I did pick up a ham sandwich, uh, all American sandwich with ham and turkey, looking amazing as well. And then I picked up uh, a cup of strawberries and cream oatmeal because I'm running out of my oatmeal. Yeah, a little so bit I got a cup uh, of that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as well. And then for the grand finale, I actually did pick up two different YoPlay yogurts, believe it or not. I got two YoPlay yogurts. These are the brand new chocolate shaving YoPlay yogurts. Video coming soon about this yogurt. Uh, something I've been wanting to try for a very long time. I got the cherry uh, chip uh, YoPlay yogurt. Very hyped to try that. Um, it does not contain tree nuts, surprisingly. But it is a uh, yogurt with chocolate shavings. Got the cherry. And then we got the beautiful uh, raspberry shaving chocolate chip uh, yogurt as well. And yeah, this is pretty much the, all of the haul coming alive as we speak right here. And I'm hoping uh, you guys, well, hopefully you guys that actually uh, have enjoyed this video in our trip to Walmart. And I just had a blast uh, showcasing everything today um, at Walmart. I just think it's amazing. Look how cool this is. All right. Yeah, gotta get a thumbnail.